In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run multiple servos at the same time using an Arduino. I promised one of my viewers to make this video, so let's get started by looking at the component. Right here, we have an external power to power the servos. We have here the PCA9685 16 channel servo driver and this is our arduino over here and we have four servos you can connect up to 16 servos but i have four here for demo purposes now let's look at the wiring to simplify things i disconnected the servos and i only left one here at the end so you can see how the servo is connected you basically follow the colors and it's really easy you can connect your servo to any of these channels like so so I'm going to remove this one here to keep things simple. Over here we have the external power and it is connected to this external power terminal and you can see there is a ground side and there is a voltage side. So that's out of the way. The only piece that's left is the wiring to the Arduino. Let me see if my camera can focus here and as you can see we have a ground pin so that's going to go to the ground on the Arduino. On the other end, we have the voltage pin, the VCC. This is going to go to the 5 volt on the Arduino. The only two wires left are the yellow one and the blue one over here in the middle. And those are the SDA and the SCL. They do go to the SDA and SCL on the Arduino. If you do not have them labeled as SDA or SCL, they are pin A4 and A5. I will leave those also on comment in the code when we look at it. These are the wires on the Arduino as you can see. There is the SCL and SDA. There is a ground pin and a VCC or the voltage pin which is the 5 volt. Now I have uh, reconnected my servos as you can see here. And I'm just going to use channel 0. It starts from 0 then one, two, three. So these are the first four. And the reason we need an external power, we cannot really power these servos directly from the Arduino because they do need too much current. Every time you have a motor or something that needs too much current, usually you need an external power supply. Now let's take a look at how this works. So I'm gonna power on my Arduino and then I need to also power on my external power supply. As you can see, all servos let me turn let me turn it off so you can hear me better but as you can see all servos visually looks like they are running at the same time even though the arduino cannot actually handle multi-thread code but there is just no delay so it's still the loop is calling them one after the other but it looks like it's happening at the same time if you have a raspberry pi or a pc then you can actually use multi-thread code so now let's go actually and take a look at that code. I'm going to simplify it for you as and make it as simple as possible. And then you can modify and upgrade from there. Let's take a quick look at the code, which I will share in the description of this video. First, we have the libraries that we are including. And then I left a comment here for you about connecting the wires. So you are going to connect the PCA9685 uh, to pin A4 and A5. Those are usually labeled as SDA and SCL. So the A4 is the SDA, the A5 is the SCL. And then obviously you have a VCC and ground. So, and a VCC and ground, of course. Uh, here we are initiating the class for the servo driver and we are setting two variables for the maximum and the minimum for those servos. You can see here in the setup, we have our begin function, and then we're setting the frequency at 60. Here we have two loops. One is setting the servos to the max, and then one second delay, and then we have the other loop that is going to set the servos to the minimum, and then that loop function will just keep going through it. I simplified the code as much as possible since this is for beginners. Now, as you learn more, you can update this code to fit your need and your project, but I want it to start you with the simple basic code so you can understand how things works. Obviously, I'm looping here from zero to four, 
But if you have more servos or less servos, you can update that accordingly. You can connect up to 16 servos to the servo driver I'm using, but there are versions where you can connect 32. So I will leave the code and a link to my GitHub repository in the description of this video. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.